Now this is my favourite reaction, sodium plus water. And you can see over here that when you combine these two you get sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. The hydrogen gas is what makes this such a fun reaction and the fact that when it reacts it's quite an exothermic reaction, it produces a lot of heat. And so that eventually that heat, if the conditions are right, will ignite this hydrogen gas and you get a boom. Very, very fun, <laughs> but not recommended in confined spaces. Okay, but here we are, we're trying to balance this equation and if you look carefully, you'll see that the hydrogens are not balanced. We've got two hydrogens here on the reactant side and we've got two here plus another one, three on the product side. So we need to do something about this. Now, I could double the number of hydrogens here by making it 2 in a O H, 2 sodium hydroxide, and just leave this hydrogen here the same. That would mean I'd have four hydrogens over this side now. So, if I've got four hydrogens over there, I need to make four hydrogens over here. So, if I multiply the water by two, 2 H 2, oops, H 2 O, and the sodium, I can just leave as it is for the moment. Okay, I've balanced the hydrogen, but what have I done with the oxygen? The oxygen, now I've got two oxygens here. Oh, but luckily I've got two oxygens here as well but the sodium is out of balance. I've got two sodium over here and only one here. But that's easy to fix. I just put a two out the front here as well. And voila! Two sodium on each side, four hydrogen on each side, and two oxygen on each side. It's balanced. Yay!